Thank you. Ah, sorry, I just I came right from the office. Um, also, <laughs> um, I'm a little horse. Um, and I'm a little boy. And, um, my balls just dropped a while ago, so I'm figuring out, you know, where my voice is. And, um, speaking of, speaking of balls dropping, um, when I was three, my, uh, thank you. When I was three, my uh, dad chased my mom and uh, me and my little brother out of our trailer uh, because he thought the government was after him. They weren't. But um, we ended up going to my grandmother's anyway. Uh, actually, we made a pit stop at my mom's AA sponsor's house, but that's for a different show. <laughs> and... Um, I remember when we got there, I was really scared and confused because I wasn't sure, are we living here now? And um, I remember going to my mom and telling her that I was really scared and afraid. And she gave me the best piece of advice that I've ever received. And um, she, she said, Cole, go away. <laughs> and um, 15 years later, I did. I moved here to New York City. I followed, um, yes. I uh, followed my high school sweetheart who broke up with me once I got here. It was like Felicity, you know? <laughs> Except, obviously, I'm uncut, so. Anyway, uh, um, that was seven years ago, and four years ago, I came on this stage and uh, did my first Star Hit Parade and I sang this song. Take a deep breath as I walk through the doors. It's the morning of the very first day. Say hi to my friends who I ain't seen in a while. Try and stay out of everybody's way. It's my freshman year, and I'm gonna be here for the next four years in this town. Hoping one of the senior boys will smile at me and say, you know, I haven't seen you around before. Cause when you're 15 and somebody tells you he loves you, you're gonna believe them. Fifteen feeling like there's nothing to figure out. Take it in, count to ten, this is life before you know who you're gonna be. Fifteen. Oh, here's something I've learned in the four years since I've been doing this. Don't date a prostitute. Um, I'm going through a really difficult breakup right now, and the breakup has actually lasted longer than the relationship did. <laughs> Ladies, you know how it goes. Shoo! He had them high cheekbones and pecs. It's just really hard to let go because uh, I have a really specific type of guy that I like. I'm really into guys that look like they know how to really hurt my feelings. <laughs> and um, actually it was on our second date that he told me he was a prostitute. And instead of like thinking about what that meant and what that would mean to date a prostitute, I was just trying to like play it cool and be like, Tch. I mean, we're all prostitutes in some way, right? <laughs> And um, his crystal meth addiction was also a big burden on the relationship. Um, he would disappear for like three days at a time and I would, um, I would walk his dog for him. Cause when you're 15 and somebody tells you he loves you, you're gonna believe him. 15 
and your first kiss makes your head spin around. In your life, you'll do things greater than dating the boy on the football team. I didn't know it at 15. Making your way in the world today <laughs> takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your troubles sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Yeah, sing along. You want to go where you can know our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Cola Scola, ladies and gentlemen. Cola Scola.